Good morning. Super stoked. I just got done with uh, Minnesota and Wisconsin combined unemployment. Done. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. I'm just really happy to have that off of my back. Every morning I've been calling. Every freaking morning. Every single morning like clockwork. Sorry. All of our available operators are busy at this time. We cannot help you. Goodbye. And so, 33, 47, 77 phone calls by 8 p. or 8 a.m. I go insane. So I'm super glad that that's all done. Super glad. Gotta say, I'm super glad I'm done with filing for unemployment and getting that shit finalized. <sighs> I could have gone through Minnesota, and Minnesota's like giving out a huge stipend or a, a bonus, but I worked in Wisconsin last, and I put more money in, maybe into Wisconsin, but I quit the jobs in Wisconsin, Minnesota, so I don't know, I just felt like it was responsible to go ahead and do it the right way. Excuse me. Good morning. How are you? Booey. I don't know what that means. I do know that um, my children are having a really rough time. My teenagers, they're in their quarantined room. I probably sound absolutely insane that I would do this to my child, but children, but honestly, health is important and their inability to recognize that other people's lives are just as valid as their own and that the things that they do cause ripples this is actually hopefully going to be something that they see that, like that i spoke to their therapist last night no my own therapist last night um she told me that that as a therapist they've she and other therapists have been getting together to talk about the possibility of something like these things happening where it's an older adult it's um, someone with some immune compromises um, and and they can't have the teen going in and out running out going and doing it their own thing and so they're having to like quarantine part of the house to have it be the teens part of the house and mine is completely different mine is where the teens have their own spot and the rest of us have the house and it it seems really unfair to me because when I know what kind of energy and impossible impossible attitude I had as a teenager but <clears throat> it's not impossible I mean if if you it, what I'm doing with my daughter is <clears throat> I'm so dry I'm super thirsty um when she is having a, a breakdown, I'm choosing not to argue with her, but instead explain over and over again, just a little bit differently, you know, what she did. So most importantly is, you know, she, she broke curfew. She put her sister and herself in some very severe situation you know not severe but um danger i wouldn't have even known where they were if anything happened um <clears throat> that in and of itself deserves a couple of days of being grounded to be honest and and then you know the whole rest of it the fact that she took herself and her sister along and they hung out with friends which is not a bad thing it's just that it's done under these circumstances. So I keep trying to tell her, you know, meeting your friends isn't a bad thing. What happened was you didn't use the measures that we're supposed to use, the, the face mask, the six feet apart, or six plus feet apart. These are things that are keeping you in your room. These are the things. Now, if you would have snuck out and gone nowhere and just been found out, maybe you'd just be grounded one day. And now there's this other stuff. So 
Yeah, I'm probably the meanest mom in the frickin' United States of America. I don't know. Are there any other moms out there, dads out there, that are having to ground their teens? Um, most importantly, we are on talking conditions, speaking conditions. We are um, keeping our Facebook Messenger chats open. I made one where all of the older siblings and I are on there. They probably have their own where I'm not on there. That's fine. I don't care. Um, but it's, uh, we're trying to stay social and she has her sister in there. Sounds like they're alone. Ooh. But they can come outside into the yard. They can work on our junk pile. If you've been on my website, you'll see a photo of that. That's kind of big. That is the conglomeration of 22 years of complete consumerism on mine and my ex-husband's part with our children. And it is just a giant pile of shit. A whole bunch of stuff that I might as well just taken money and thrown it in the backyard right there. It was just in. Which makes me realize just how important money really is, you know. Yes, I get this lovely bit of money each week from unemployment, but um, but what? What was I trying to say? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay, and yesterday I made my final order to Walmart. I am making this the end. I cannot do that anymore. I can't shop there anymore. I just can't. I was running a little late. I'm going to admit something here I feel really guilty about. I was running late yesterday. I realized I wasn't going to make it to pick up the few things. I like the idea that, okay, <clears throat> my daughter's do uh, bur fish, <clears throat> my daughter's cat bowl is not it broke and it's ceramic so we're looking all over the house we don't have any kind of glue well then I was like all right well then I'll order it on Walmart so I ordered that and then I was like well I can only get Smucker's big jar peanut butters there so I ordered that and then I thought well the only kind of peanut butter that Europe likes is the super smooth stuff from that super crazy peat or whatever it is and so I have to get that kind of peanut butter for her. And then I think to myself, oh no, when we ride our uh, longboards, we need to have some kind of reflective um, tape, something at night, so that we're not, um, so that we're not invisible at night. And then uh, I add that to the list. And then I think, oh, I need probiotics so that I can make yogurt, and I add that to the list. Oh, we're out of this. I had that, you know, and so I did that and um, realized I was running late. We're on our way. We're going to be there 10 minutes late, probably. We get there five minutes late, and it's just this guy. He says, I understand. I get it. You got a big van. You got a big family. I get it. You got a family. Don't worry about it. I have a family at home. And I thought to myself, what a fucking asshole I am. I'm keeping him from his family. Here it is, Walmart. What is he making? Eleven, ten, nine dollars an hour. I'm keeping him after work fifteen minutes, you know, like away from his family. And so I I decided that if I don't like the way that Walmart treats its workers and I don't like big corporations, I probably should forego shopping with them and uh, I'm switching over to the Instacart I'm looking into a couple of uh, pages with Minnesota and Wisconsin farmers that I can purchase from hopefully I can buy food with them using um, food stamps and cash that I have and then also with uh, With the extra money that I I'll be being supported by from unemployment Ooh. so yesterday was a big day I got my mortgage forbeared and I got 
at least 28 pages of stipulations that I need to read through, which I think I might make a video on and just be like, what the fuck, when I'm reading this shit, because I saw some crazy stuff after I hit I accept. What did I sign up for? I may just keep paying my house payments and say, forget this. And um, I'm applying for a refinance for our home, so that might go down. My home mortgage payments might be going down, which would be great. And I've already um, made most of the, the final decisions in getting a loan in order to help our house to uh, get rid of radon and also uh, have some repairs around the house, get our gutters repaired, good things around this house this year, regardless of the changes that we're seeing, things can happen. And yeah, we're gonna, I'm petting a cat, that's what I'm doing here. Here's this Misha, he's so cute. He's just laying here like a little bunny. Here. But he's not a bunny. He's a little mish mish. <laughs> he's my little kitty boy. The worst part is knowing that his mama, his mama is the, the 15 year old that went out and she didn't realize that um, the virus can be transferred from people to cats and so we had to make the decision that he has to stay out of her room and can't be in there and he's going through a lot of sadness there and sitting outside the bedroom door crying and it's really sad for everybody. We're all having a really hard time with this. It's not a happy choice. At all. Nobody's liking it. So, yeah. We've got... Got a, a bunch of goop going on. Got some good things taken care of. Um, looks like I'm going to be able to get rid of the radon in my house, which... I'm looking forward to. I'd like to see some health improvement, honestly. I don't know that we, we've had some higher levels in this house, so I don't know that we won't see some good things. I've, I've been battling forgetfulness for a few years, and I attributed it to pregnancy brain, but I'm long past pregnancy. My kid, my oldest, youngest kid is eight, and, um, I attributed it to PTSD, but I wasn't really sure if that could be prolonged like that, but it seems to be the case. You can use it. And it's my kitty boy. That's what it is. That's how it is. I hope you have a great day. Stay safe and social.